channel if you're new here. My name is Alyssa. Today I have got three delicious summer dessert recipes, all of which are no bake. That means they don't require an oven, which for me is like a total win because I don't want to turn on the oven when it's boiling out. So today we are going to be making three delicious recipes. Like I said, all of them are vegan and all of them are already up on the blog. So if you're interested in making them or trying them, you can find the links down in the description box below. And the three recipes that we're making are vegan dark chocolate almond butter cups. So they're like Reese's, but healthier. We're also gonna make some no-bake key lime pie bars, and then we're finishing off with some cherry pie energy bites. All of them are so delicious, super healthy, and I can't wait for you to make them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna start by making the dark chocolate almond butter cups. And to begin, we have to melt some chocolate. So you're just gonna add your dark chocolate. You can use chocolate chips, you could use a chocolate bar into a double boiler. This helps prevent the chocolate from burning. If you've never used a double boiler before, you just have a pot with a little bit of water and then a heat proof bowl on top of that and it helps to melt the chocolate. Once the chocolate is melted, you can add in your coconut oil. And again, just stir that together until the coconut oil is melted as well. Then you will just remove the chocolate from the heat. We're gonna start building the almond butter cups. So the first step is to fill your little muffin liners with a little bit of chocolate. I use about, I would say half a teaspoon and you're just gonna fill each liner. And then you will pop your baking sheet into the freezer and let the chocolate solidify. It takes about 15 minutes or so. Once the chocolate is solidified, you can start adding your almond butter on top of that hard chocolate. So the center almond butter is gonna be about half of a teaspoon of almond butter. I really like to use creamy, but you could use crunchy if you wanted. And then on top of that, you will do another layer of the melted chocolate. So you're essentially just building like a little sandwich. And then I like to finish things off with some flaked Malden sea salt. Totally optional, I just personally love the salt and chocolate combination. If you're not a fan, you can just not do that. And then you'll just pop these back in the freezer for another probably at least an hour. I like to really make sure that they're nice and firm. But once they are solid, you can just take them out of the freezer and enjoy. Unwrap them like you would a little regular peanut butter cup. And these are such a fun little healthy treat. And just one final tip is that you are gonna wanna keep these in the fridge or the freezer because they have coconut oil, they tend to melt at room temperature. And if you don't eat them quickly, they also tend to melt. So I would just recommend keeping them in your fridge or your freezer. Otherwise, you guys are gonna love them. The second recipe is our vegan no-bake key lime pie bars. We're gonna start with our cashews. You're just gonna add your cashews into a bowl or whatever, top it with hot water and let those soak for about 35 to an hour-ish. Then we will make the crust. The base is going to be rolled oats. To that, you're also gonna add in some pecans and some dates. Blend that up until you get a nice sandy texture in your food processor. And then you're gonna add in some coconut oil. And this is what's gonna help hold everything together in the freezer because the coconut oil solidifies and it helps the crust stay nice and intact. When you're done with your crust, it should kind of stick together in between your hands. You can just pinch it to get that nice texture. So that's the base of the crust. Then we are gonna make the filling. I made the filling in a food processor. I actually recommend doing it in a blender because you can get a lot smoother. So pick your poison here, but you aren't gonna get quite the same texture in the food processor as you would the blender. But essentially you're just gonna add your, but essentially you're just gonna add your soaked cashews into the blender, top that with some lime zest as well as coconut oil, lime juice, maple syrup, and a little vanilla. Blend it up until it's smooth and creamy. You might wanna add a splash of almond milk if it gets too thick in the blender, just kind of to help everything get nice and smooth. But it's gonna be the texture of like a very thick cream. So once you're ready to assemble everything, we're gonna now move on to that step. To assemble this, you're gonna have a parchment lined baking pan. I like to use an eight by eight pan. That fits everything perfectly. You'll transfer the crust ingredients into the pan first, then use your hands to firmly press it down. Make sure you get into the corners so that you're really getting the crust as even as possible and really, really, really push hard. This is key. The harder you push, the more compact it gets. And that means that it will stick together when it's frozen. So once you've got your crust there, you can just pour the filling right on top of the crust. And we're going to just use a spatula to kind of smooth it out 
and make sure that it's all evenly spread out through the whole pan. And I like to finish it off with just a little extra lime zest because it looks really pretty, but that's optional. You don't have to do that. And then you'll pop these bars in the freezer and let them solidify. It's gonna take at least a few hours, preferably do this overnight and you'll have better texture that way and you'll make sure that they're actually frozen. When you are ready to serve, let them come to room temperature for like five to 10 minutes just so they soften up a little bit. Then you can remove them from the pan and you can slice them into your little key lime pie squares. And just like the almond butter cups, these need to be kept in the freezer for them to keep their texture. These are kind of gonna be like a frozen cheesecake bar, but they're so delicious, tons of flavor, and I know you guys are gonna love them. Our final recipe is gonna be our cherry pie energy bites. We are going to start by soaking our dried cherries. This just helps them soften up a little bit and helps us blend it more easily. So soak them in hot water for like 10 to 15 minutes just to let them soften a little. And then we'll move on to the base. So we're gonna add in some raw cashews. And then I actually just like to blend my raw cashews first so that I get the right texture. So just blend them up in your food processor until they turn into like a nice sandy texture. And then we will add in the drained and soaked cherries as well as some dates. Pop the lid back on, process that again until it becomes a sandy texture. And then you can just remove the lid and we're gonna add in some quinoa flakes and the quinoa flakes are gonna add a little bit of protein and they're also gonna help everything stick together without having to add a lot of extra nuts. You could also use oats if you don't use quinoa flakes. And again, just process it together until everything is combined. The final step is to add in some flaked coconut and you're just gonna pulse that to combine to get the coconut nice and mixed into that dough. Once you have everything done and you're ready to roll them out, you're just gonna take about a golf ball sized piece of the dough into your hands and then kind of squish it firmly in between each hand and then roll it into a little ball. And then you can just repeat until you've used all of the dough. And the final step, which is optional, but also delicious is to roll them in some shredded coconut. So I just use a shallow dish. I add some shredded coconut into the dish and then I just press the ball into the coconut to kind of get everything coated and pretty. And it kind of makes them look like those little snowball treats. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it kind of makes them look like candy and it adds a little nice crunch. And I personally love coconut, which is why I like to do this. But again, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. And just like the other two, I recommend keeping these in the fridge or freezer for a longer shelf life, but also better texture. And these do taste like cherry pie. So if you're a cherry pie fan, you're gonna love these little energy bites. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed our no bake vegan treats today. If you do end up making them, I would love to know which one you try first. Come back to this video, let me know in the comments. I know you guys are gonna love all three. And what I think is fabulous about each of them is that they all play like a different role, right? So the chocolate one is great for after dinner to keep in your freezer. I have a stash of these on hand at all times. The key lime pie ones are a little bit more like fun and fiesta-ish, like kind of flavory. And then the cherry pie energy bites double as a really healthy snack that you can bring with you on the go. So as always, the rest recipes are already up on the blog like I mentioned. You can find them all down in the description box below. So just open that little box that says show more and you can find all the links right there. If you have not yet joined our tribe here on YouTube, hit that red button before you go. It says subscribe. That will subscribe you. I am here twice a week and we're always sharing a ton of new content. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!